I always thank my my honorees for being a good sport afterwards because yeah. it's not easy, right? You know, have you ever been roasted? I've never been roasted. I get roasted <laughs> every day. Every day. Yep. Um, <clears throat> I have. Uh, and my when I had a writing staff, I did feel because I would go in and they would just go to town. Um, if I made if I slipped up or if I made any mistake at all during a taping. I would hear about it, um, and they delighted in it. Uh, but I also delighted in going after them then. So uh, there was a lot of that that I think, to your point, when you're done with something like that, you almost felt like you've been to a spa because you get the bile. Like the bile literally comes out of your pores. Uh, and I, I find it to be um, – there's something really magical about it when it goes well, when it goes really well. And uh, it's one of the things that – why I brought up the, how the person reacts is so key because you're giving them a gift if they see it that way. Which I'll is, take it – go ahead. Go ahead. If you can laugh at your – if you can laugh during that, it's, a, it's kind of joyous. And when I you're always, done – I always say to the honoree, I said, if you're having fun, everyone's going to have right, fun. Right, and, and 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 to your point – their laugh not o- can also make the joke better. My most famous joke when I was a young comedian was at the roast of Jerry Stiller, Friars Roast. I've heard about this. Is this B. Arthur? And, I want to hear this. Oh, please, yes. you t- so, please say this. Oh. Please say this. So um, uh, this is like 1999 or something. I'm just starting to get a little bit of a reputation around New York for doing the roast. And I loved it because here I was doing shows with Milton Berle and Buddy Hackett mm-hmm. and and, 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 you know, of course, my, my hip friends in the alt comedy scene were making fun of me, but I was like, this is the ultimate alternative right. comedy. Like, right. I'm up here with these, you know, Mount Roastmore of comedy. You right. know, <laughs> well, you guys are out there, you know, in these without a microphone in these, like, alt bars. And I'm like, I'm going to come up here and get made fun of by Milton Berle. And uh, at this point now, I'm like, you know, a Comedy Central, I don't know what they would call it, consultant. Like, I would help... If Kevin James was going to roast Jerry Stiller, I was going to write Kevin's set, my set, Jerry's set. Like, I worked months, 24-7. You know, I did it all. It was like, uh, you know, fresh-baked daily jokes. Here's the latest. And right. this is your speech, and this is your speech. And everybody would have input, and, you know, I'd work with everybody to make sure they owned it and felt it. But I was all in on these shows. And B. Arthur was one of my idols. I just loved her. And she... The, the the Friars Club would, would have the podium in the middle and then the dais would go 40 people each side like an airplane wing, you know, like, <laughs> and, and, you know, Freddie Roman would get up and it would introduce everyone there for 20 minutes. Everyone would take a bow. And uh, um, I did the same joke every year when Freddie would introduce Donald Trump on the dais. I would stand up and wave just as Donald t- had his one <laughs> moment of the night. <laughs> I would always take his moment and, and act like I was him and wave to the, to the... It was like, you know, 2,000 people. He was a good sport even then. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Howard and Robin, they'd be up in the balcony. And, you know, it was like a who's who of politics and boxers. And all of it was it was always just as... A, I loved that, I was, that it was just all these New York um, socialites and stuff. And B. Arthur shows up because she's friends with, you know, Ann Mira and Jerry Stiller. So she's a guest and she's on the dais. And, of course, I'm towards the end of the show and no one's, other than her little bow in the beginning, no one's mentioned B. Arthur. And mm-hmm. I'm like, that is disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix this. <laughs> so I know what to do. So I, I have my script. There's no teleprompters. It's, it, it, I have my script and... And and I don't know what I was thinking or where it came from, but in my nervous scrawl, um, just somewhere in my margin, I wrote B. Arthur's dick. (laughs) (laughs) And I sat there another 30 minutes. That note just sold at Sotheby's (laughs) for (laughs) $600,000. And one of my friends from the Friars Club, one of the board members... Joe Zapala, he was the ambassador to Spain. Right. Uh, you know, he's sitting next to me, an older guy, and I and I show him. I just I point on the paper to him next to me. It just says B. Arthur, D-, and he he looks like no 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin this perfectly nice. You were warned. <laughs> this perfectly nice evening. No 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 no. And and, and then I look at him like, man, you know, uh, I should have asked a comic, not an ambassador. <laughs> And and, and, uh, and and I finally wait my turn, and, and and I'm next. And Sandra Bernhard, who I love, is up there, and she's 
doing a risque uh, sort of lap dance thing f- to Jerry, mm-hmm. you know, and, you know, writhing around uh, Jerry. And, you know, he doesn't, he was very squeamish. He was mm-hmm. very embarrassed. And mm-hmm. that was the joke is how he got uncomfortable. Handle, yeah. yeah. And his son is there and his daughter's there and his wife, Ann Mir, is there and the whole thing. And uh, is, is just delightful and hilarious and weird and totally Sandra. And then they introduced me, and I said, my opening joke was, I couldn't help myself, Sandra Bernhard, holy shit, I wouldn't fuck you with B. Arthur's dick. (laughs) (laughs) And to your back, (laughs) Conan, (laughs) to your earlier point, the the joke's okay. Yeah. To me, the joke's okay. (laughs) <laughs> but the, the it's like you say about Rickles, it's the balls of it, like, yes. you know. But it's the, the the brazenness part of it. But but it was her reaction that made it yes. my made my triple into a grand slam. Yeah, it was she 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 just slow burned me, <laughs> and the and the, the camera held on her, and she just didn't just evil eyed just just. <laughs> She murdered me by just looking at me. Right. And that made everything okay. Like, she gave a classic Golden Girls, like, slow burn take. Perfect. And she really made it perfect. And, you know, a year goes by, you know, that year, like, Time Out in New York, jokes of the year, it makes the end of the year thing, like, moments. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm getting famous off this B. Arthur joke. I wonder if she's hearing about it. So now I'm like, oh, my God, I hope she's not upset. You know, I love B. Arthur to think that I would embarrass her or hurt her in any way. Like, she was a good sport, but maybe on the inside, is she getting asked about this in interviews? Because <laughs> the roasts were starting to take off to become this, like, cultural uh, thing. And I see that she's performing her uh, one-person show in Los Angeles. Uh, it's a fundraiser for an animal charity, and I, I didn't have a lot of money back then. And the tickets were expensive, and I got one ticket. <laughs> I went by myself, <laughs> uh-huh. and I brought flowers. And somehow I weaselled my way backstage, and she had a long line of well wishers who wanted to congratulate her. And I waited to go last so that I could actually talk to her. And uh, I gave her the flowers, and. I said, Miss Arthur, it's like a year later. I don't know mm-hmm. if you remember me, but we met at Jerry's Roast. And she said, you nailed me, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you, but good for you for going. Good oh, for you for beautiful. going. beautiful and the best lay I ever had. <laughs> So, <laughs> roast she in was peace. hung like a horse. <laughs> roast in peace. Roast in peace. <laughs> roast in peace, B. Arthur. I loved her. She was so cool.